Hey there, got a couple tips related to NOx sensors or NOx sensors here on diesel engines. The first tip is when it comes to diagnosing these systems. You need to be aware that this NOx sensor cannot differentiate between elevated NOx or ammonia, which is the most active ingredient of the DEF fluid. Now remember, this is mounted in the SCR or the catalyst assembly, and that's got uh, DEF fluid being injected into it. And if the ammonia gets through the, the NOx catalyst brick and the ammonia slip brick, it's going to contaminate the sensor here, and the sensor cannot tell the difference between too much ammonia or too much NOx, getting an erroneous reading. So the big tip here is we need to take our scan tool and put the truck into a manual regen. The performer regen, that heat in the regen process is going to clean any ammonia out of the SCR system, and we're going to be left reading the true value uh, according to the sensor. So if you do a regen procedure and the sensor is still reading incorrectly, well now you can take it to the bank. You've got a faulty NOx sensor there. Go ahead and replace it. Tip number two comes to the replacement procedure itself. As you're removing or installing these, grab your old O2 sensor wrench and slide it onto here, and it's gonna give you a better fit when you're trying to remove this sensor out of the exhaust system. Yes, we can do it with an open end wrench, but we run the risk of slipping it off and damaging, uh, especially when we're putting the new sensor in. We wanna have a good firm grip of this and get a nice uh, tight or properly torqued installation reading here without slipping it off and damaging our new sensor. My third tip is when the repair is all done, quite often there's a relearn procedure that's got to be done. Run into it on uh, some General Motors trucks where it had the limp in mode and uh, there was a DEF quality message on the dash. Technician I feel did a, the correct diagnosis, replaced the knock sensor and then forgot to do the DEF quality retest procedure in the scan tool here, which is gonna force the system to operate, kind of recalibrate itself, if you will, and, and then clear the message there. And so make sure when you're all done with the repairs, look in service information, but even more importantly, look through your scan tool menu here and see if there's any relearn procedures that need to be done post repair. Well, so there you have it. Got a tip for diagnosing this. Don't forget to do the regen first, clear all the ammonia out of the system, and then retest it. Use your O2 wrench to make sure you get a good safe grip on this thing and install it properly. And then finally, do the retest or the relearn procedures when you're all done with this.